Welcome to another Natarity tutorial. This one is the Azelia Yeast, or however the fuck you say this, okay? I don't know how you say this, but it's no overestimation to say that this is probably the hardest heist in the game, okay? The toughest heist there is in Natarity right now. Now, this heist is the newest one that they've added to the game, and uh, the biggest one that they've added to the game. So if you have a low end PC, you're not going to be able to do this. So the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, get the colour codes, okay? Now these colour codes are fucking important, alright? So you better follow along closely. Stay in case and mode um, and come up these stairs right here. We're going to be going left and we aren't going for this objective marker right away, so excuse me. We're gonna um, go past that. So we're looking for the renovations room, okay, or the room that's under renovation, I should say. Um, it's up these stairs here, and then up these stairs here. Now this is again, as I say, a very big map, so you're just gonna have to be a bit patient here as you traverse it. Now this is a restricted area, so when you enter this area, they're gonna see you if you're in casing mode. So this is where you put on your mask, and you run over to this zone right here. Now there's three different areas that the um, color codes can spawn in, alright? Now this area is generally safe, so you don't have to worry too much about guards, but it can spawn right here. It can spawn behind those boxes there. Or it can spawn where I'm about to run right now, over here. Okay, use this box. And when you get the chance, take a screenshot of that. Now, if you, I recommend bringing in a teammate with you. So send the screenshot to your teammate, okay? Don't ask me why there's so many retries here. Once you've sent the screenshot to your teammate, don't uh, dwell on this too much for now, okay? Because we still need to get the correct serial number that corresponds, corresponds with the correct color code, all right? So what we're gonna firstly do is get out of here, all right? So we run over here, behind this motherfucker, and then through here, okay? Now refill your stamina. The easiest way to get to this um, RFID reader is to do what I'm just about to do now, so pay attention closely. Run through here, and stick to the corners, like this, and then jump down and around. This camera can spawn here, so you may have to do this, and if you have bad orange, you just run down here like this, okay? Because that guard, he will fuck you over. Right. You're in um, a pretty decent position now, okay? You've done one of the hard parts, so don't worry. But uh, it gets harder. <laughs> yeah, it gets harder. Much harder. Whatever you do, don't shoot out these cameras because, although that might seem like a valid tactic, uh, guards can see them, okay? Guards can really easily see them. Uh, if you shoot this camera out, you might not be completely fucked, but sometimes, if you're really, really unlucky, uh, guards up here can see you, which is not fun. Okay. Not fun at all. But anyway, when you get the chance, and this camera fucks off, and that camera, your RNG can be a little bit better here sometimes. 1262, okay? Now that's an important number, alright? 16. Don't remember, I don't remember what it was. Fuck. 1262. 1262. Type it in your chat. If it doesn't go in chat, write it down somewhere. This is important. You're gonna need this serial number to identify which one of these crates is the correct one, alright? Or oh, sorry, power boxes. So anyway, run out of this room. And go behind here if there's a guard or a camera and then walk over here now this is gonna sometimes all right rarely but sometimes the power box can spawn in a really bad area and that area okay believe it or not is right there on that pillar now that pillar is the worst place for it to spawn because two civilians two guards and two cameras will be looking at that place Anyway, make your way over to where I am right now, and um, <clears throat> let me just play a tutorial 
on how to crack that power um, box if it does spawn there because it can't happen and you're gonna wanna know how. It's time for us to get this shit done, isn't it? Okay. When you get the chance, sometimes the camera spawns over right there, so you wanna be careful. Look, open this door up. Because this, you're gonna need this if you might, if you may have to escape if you uh, get some bad RNG. But anyway, now it's time to not touch him. Oh, that was close. But going here. Behind this guy. This guy can see you when you're entering the code, as you can see. Because civilians turn their heads now, which is horrible. So just turn him around like this. Be careful not to get too close in front of him, as he will see you. And then, run over there. And we're going to have to move on to the next civilian. Okay, these cameras are still going to be an issue for you, so keep that in mind. Wait for that guy to fuck off. So as you can see, this is not the easy stuff. You're gonna want to be able to run fast. You're gonna want to be able to carry things fast. And you're gonna have to be quick if you get caught. You know, you don't have a lot of time in this kind of heist. Okay. Now we're gonna have to call it move this um, fucking civilian when we get the chance now. This can take some time, but trust me, it has to be done. This is why I recommend bringing a friend, because he can be in casing mode and move these guys for you without um, having to be pissed off by the cameras and such. Anyway, just do how, how I'm doing as right now. Keep an eye out for guards that may be approaching, as they can really fuck you up. Okay, once you're confident that he's moved enough, you can, um, call it, make your way over to this power box, okay? I'm actually just gonna turn a little more, there we go. Okay, now, now, wait for the guards to fuck off, because they are not gonna be your friend, okay? Now you're gonna have to enter the code, okay? So, the code is yellow, red, green, green. Now, you're gonna wanna do this as fast as possible. Because again, the game is not your friend. And um, what was it? Yellow, red, green, green. Alright, once you have that, get the fuck out of that room as fast as you can, man. Anyway, now that that's over, let's look for the correct power box, alright? So, we're gonna wanna come over here and run over the counter like that and jump over here like this, okay? That guard loves spawning, uh, walking through here, but you can walk past him as an idiot. Um, anyway, let's see, is this the one? It indeed is not the one, so we're gonna have to go and find another power box. If it's the wrong power box, completely ignore it and don't do anything with it, because you're just gonna call a guard over, which is like... You don't want that, okay? Sometimes these areas can be a little bit difficult to traverse, but whatever you do, don't get yourself fucked with no stamina in any locations. Don't open this thing if the camera's looking at you, obviously, but, but the camera and the guard can really fuck you over here. So just be careful. There's always a, a, a guard in here, or almost always, but there's not always a camera. The camera can be kind of annoying sometimes, so... Alright, this isn't uh, our power box either. We're gonna have to go to the other power box. Huh. Oh. Well, that's the over there. Okay, the easiest way for us to get over there will be to go over here climb these stairs. Now once we climb these stairs, the guard can walk past here, so just do this. And then um, come in here. Alright. Now do exactly what I do here. Run over here, past guards, anything like that. And behind this crate now. 
This place, very dangerous. Three guards can walk through here at the same time, okay? So you're gonna have to use this crate really effectively. Anyway, this is the one. So now we're gonna go, go uh, to our screenshot and find the color code. So in this case, it's green, yellow, yellow, green, alright? If the serial number you wrote in chat matches the power box serial number, then come over to it and enter the code. If you enter it wrong, a security guard will come over, so make sure you don't enter it wrong. Anyway, once you've done that, run over here and jump off the edge like a shad. Okay, you might have bad RNG here, so just be a little bit careful of that guard. In fact, you'll actually want to wait for him to fuck off. Our next objective is to get into the basement. Now, you might think that we've done all the hard stuff. Oh no, not at all. This is why this is the hardest heist in the game, buddy. Now this camera doesn't always spawn there, but it can really annoy you. Just trust me when I say that. If you are about to get fucked, just do these kind of maneuvers that I'm doing right now. It's designed for it. Okay, once that camera is not looking at you, open this door. You might not have a lot of time to do this, but be patient and don't get cocky, okay? Anyway, now you're in the basement. This is where the true scale of the map seriously kicks into place, okay? So you're gonna run down here, and you're gonna wanna run down here, go left, jump over here, and line this door. Do exactly what I do perfectly, because you're fucked if you don't. Now a guard walks up and down here, so you're gonna wanna be quick. There's not always cameras here, but they can really fuck you over. Run through here, and you can use this door to refill stamina. Now this is the social admin rooms or whatever they're called, all right? You're gonna wanna go onto them and you're looking for an ID card, right? So they can spawn on this table here or they can spawn on this table over here. But today it didn't spawn right first uh, in the locations I wanted it to. So we're going to um, go to the next one, okay? Don't get cocky or get caught, alright? Now, if it's not on those tables, it will be on this one. Or on one of these, sorry. Now, anyway, once you have this card, it's time to get the fuck out of this room, okay? Because this room sucks. Now, you can actually escape through that way, that corridor, but we're not going to do that because it's more annoying. Okay. Now, this is the best fucking way to escape. If you have... You can do this if you don't have fast speed, but... It, it's easier to do it if you have fast speed, okay? This ladder right here, when the guards fuck off, as they just did now, run up here like that, jump across, and in through here. Perfect, alright? Don't touch any guards, it can be really easy to touch the guards sometimes, but if you touch them, they see you instantly, so you really gotta be careful of that. Okay? Now avoid any cameras that you may see, and make your way out of the basement. I'll just touch the fucking guard. As you can see, it can really annoy you, but, uh, we might be good. We might be good. Alright, we're very lucky. I st you still have three pages or uh, after I kill them, so you do have you can kill four guards if you get the chance. Now this is a safe area, so you can just block the bag here. That happens to you but anyway just don't panic if that happens to you because just I would just recommend just looking around before you um run places because you know that shit can fuck you over hard anyway it looks like the admin room spawned in one of the worst places uh it spawns man or the door spawns actually I believe you can get there through this room which is nice yeah, we indeed can. If that doesn't happen though, that door doesn't always spawn there. You'll have to open this door, okay? And opening this door is very hard, okay? Mark my words, because you'll have to be standing here. 
You have a camera that spawns there sometimes to guard, and you'll have to push this civilian out of the way to open it. Now, I'll, I'll do a little tutorial on that right now. Anyway, once you've done that, you're going to want to start searching files, okay? These are the files for the phone number of the manager, which you will be ringing him uh, once you find it. Or calling him, I should say. Alright, we found it. Also, in there, there's one, uh, so it might be that one. Anyway, now we're just gonna wait for this guy, alright? So, while we're waiting for him, he almost always comes through this way. Alright, he always comes over here and stands here to take this car, okay? Just, he wants to be in some quiet. So, we're gonna wait for him. Right over here. And, he's gonna walk over to us, okay? Now. Yeah, turn around. Now, make sure you don't fuck this up, because if a guard comes, and you kill him. It's not gonna end well for you. I usually push him around like this. So I can get him into a better area. Because if he falls down those stairs and the guard comes with the battle RNG, you're not gonna be happy, okay? Anyway, if you do this, you'll be happy on that. Okay. Check for guards coming from here. And if it doesn't seem to be the case, murder him. Ooh, that was lucky. And now, once you have them by and ready to go, you're gonna want to make your way back to um, the administration or administration room, okay? Let me just put this bag in a safe place. Come on. The USB that we got out of that guy, we're going to use it to disable this security system. So 0168. You need this code, so type it in the chat. Okay? This is the code for the vault. Anyway, now we're going to make our way back to the basement. Now that we're back in the basement, we're gonna go through this door here. But instead of going left, we're gonna go right into this door. And this is the vault room. A guard can walk up and down here, and there can be a camera that spawns here, right there. So you wanna be careful here. Wait for your right moment and insert the key card that we got. And then get this code 01168. 0168. And the vault will open for you. Alright, are you ready to collect the loot, guys? I know you want it. Oh, the heist's not over yet, boy. We still have more to do. So now that this, um... The guitar is not in the vault, you get no money. The heist is a big... ...ake of fuel joke. I'm only joking, it's not... okay. <laughs> Um, we have to go to the storage room in the basement, alright? And the storage room is gonna have a hook and a rope, alright? So, we're gonna wanna go down and get this rope and a uh, hook, alright? So, first, we're gonna leave this room behind, because no one cares about it. Be careful of that camera. And don't walk in the guards. And jump back down like I you do, and into this room. You're making your way to the storage rooms now. So this is where you find a hook. So just grab it. Oh, you can't grab it just here. You have to wait for the quick scene at the end. That's annoying. So just stay there. Uh, shield. Okay, now we are. Now we can. So grab the hook. It, it can spawn in a few different locations, I believe. But um, it's always in this room. So just look for it. Don't let the guys are coming to see. And anyway, now, when you have the hook, Make your way down to this area. You can come in here to regain your stamina. If the guards don't come here, you can put a body bag there. Just be alright. And anyway, now, 
you're gonna wanna get the rope, okay? Let me just find where it is. Alright now wait for this wait for there to be no more guys or cameras looking at you and grab the rope. Alright, and now you have to get the fuck out of the basement. So wait for your right moment. Make your way back to this area. And we're gonna have to perform this ladder thing again. Just wait for the guards to fuck off. Because if they're looking at you to the side, they'll like they'll see you. Is there assholes? Okay. It's time for us to go to the control room. Now, I want to tell you that the hardest part is over, but it's uh, not. I'm so sorry. After all of this 20 minutes of work that we've done, and it's probably going to be a lot longer for you guys, you could still fuck up, so just keep that in mind, man. But this is a really worth it heist, or oh, sorry, heist, if you can manage to pull this off. Anyway, make your way to one of these uh, entrances. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, but uh, just make your way towards one of them. And make it, I recommend this one as it's the closest. Now, once you get to them, open the door and step inside. Now, be very, very careful in this room because this is where things can fuck up for you. There's a lot of cameras, there's a lot of guards. But either way, don't get cocky, okay? Don't, don't get cocky. See him. They almost fucked themselves up, boys. And anyway, make sure you don't run out of stamina in a place like this because you can kill yourself very easily. Okay, now, once we get to this area, we're gonna wanna sneak to his PC. And the easiest way to do this is to wait for the guards to, to fuck off. Because guards love walking through here, okay? And they love fucking you up. Right? It's a favorite thing to do. But basically what our plan is, is to go over to um, our good old civilian friend. And we're gonna move him, okay? We're gonna move him to the left, okay? So just like so. And now and just hack the system, okay? Make sure there's no guards coming, because if you get cocky, this is just fuck you over. Alright, now we're gonna wanna go up here. two guards here so you're gonna be really wanna be careful. Oh my god. I almost fucked it up. Now you have to tell guys 
That's six mil. It's time to get the fuck out of here. Now it's quite dark, so you're gonna wanna be careful. Time for us to go to the admin room now. So we're gonna be going to the admin room so we can get um, an L costume. Okay. So come back out the way you came. Or whatever's easiest. We're gonna be um, leaving this shithole behind. So yeah, we wanna come all the way down here and back down the stairs where we murdered that innocent manager and into their secret special room where we will go into the card lockers. This place is pro. Now we can just leave. Your only difficulty is Avoiding guards, okay, which are blocking the doors, so make sure you do that. And now, you just leave. Easy peasy. And that, my friends, is how you make a bunch of money. <laughs>